Economics is underneath so much of our daily experience, but it's about more than just money and finance. I'm Eddie Wu, and I'm here at the University of Sydney to talk to a couple of people who can share their insight and explain to us what economics is really all about. We've got a fantastic little range of questions here from a variety of students who are economics curious. So I'm going to read them out and see who wants to tackle each one. So here's the first one. It says, why should I study the Bachelor of Economics? Great question. Uh, you should study the Bachelor of Economics if you are interested in taking analytical skills such as problem solving, critical thinking, logic, and applying them to social issues like inequality, uh, climate change, um, or even subjects such as sports or um, dating. There's so many th ways and so many social issues where you can apply economics. My answer, I guess, is a little bit more vague. Why would, why would you want to study economics? Um, you would want to study or you should study economics so that you understand what's going on and you want the power because economics is powerful. Yeah. yeah, economists have seats at a lot of important dis decision tables uh, in government and in industry. And so if you want to be an agent of social change, economics is a great uh, degree for you to have. I think also that there's generally a couple of people that are seriously motivated by money. I mean, we could talk about that forever, right? But I think that if you're interested in being um, one of the two top graduates for employability and for financial compensation for employability, I'm, I'm talking about money, then economics is your degree. Yeah, it's one of the most employable degrees in part because of the skill set that you leave with, both in terms of being able to analyze data, look for patterns, but also communicate to other people. And that makes you very employable. This next one says, how many majors can I undertake within the Bachelor of Economics and what are my options? Within the Bachelor of Economics, you can take two majors. The first major needs to be a major within economics such as economics, financial economics, environmental, agricultural, and resource economics, or econometrics. Then you have a second major. That second major can also be in economics, so a double major in economics, or it can be from a broad pool of majors in both the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences as well as um, the business school. So you could take a language as your second major, you could take maths as your second major, computer science, you could do accounting, your second major, you have a lot of flexibility um, within the Bachelor of Economics degree. This question here says, are there any industry opportunities available as an economics student? Yes, there are. Um, so the world wants more economists and when we look to the future uh, to think about what uh, qualifications will be the most desirable. Economics is up there. Um, economics is, um, I guess, at the moment, um, I guess, trying to uh, increase the number of people that are graduating with economics. So, and I, when I say economics is trying, I mean the business world is trying. So you have the RBA and you have all of these financial institutions as well as global organisations that are all hankering for economists. So when you say, are there industry opportunities? Absolutely, there are. They're screaming for economists. But uh, even more important than that, they're screaming for economists from all different walks of life, and that's really important. So um, if you hadn't ever heard of economics before and you think, oh, actually, I might be a little bit interested, and you come from uh, not what most people would picture an economist, background, actually, by the way, the research says most people picture an economist as middle-aged and male and grey in a grey suit, which is really awful. Sorry, I just went off on a tangent. But basically, yes, the world wants more economists. Yeah, so within the Bachelor of Economics, we bring in uh, a lot of our alumni to talk to students about what it's like in different industries. There's opportunities to intern. Um, there's opportunities to do an industry experience, especially if you decide to do um, a Bachelor of Advanced Studies in that fourth year. Um, you get to you know, work more directly with industry before you graduate. Um, so there's also you know, social clubs uh, within economics where students get together and they share information about industry events that they've heard about, about career events. 
Um, so there's a lot of opportunity within economics to engage with industry as well as the alumni at the University of Sydney. Okay, so this next question is, what is the most unusual place that you have found economics has cropped up for you? I always found it really fascinating that uh, computer game developers employ economists, so things like The Sims, they need to have an economist to model actually how a society would work. I mean, you wouldn't really expect that computer game development would need economists, but they do. But also, I, I know like the research done on the, the economics of dating and the uh, economics of love and the, ex the economics of Christmas present buying is really cool too. In other words, we, we should all just give gift cards. Um, or cash. <laughs> I, teach, I teach a lecture on the economics of dating uh, and how um, people, there's markets for dating and you, you have to match with each other on this dating market. And a student afterwards emailed me and told me that he had applied several of the lessons from the lecture and had found a girlfriend. So I feel I'm, you know, to thank partly for, um, for some of this dating success of my students. 